Wow, what an empowering night, evening. I'm sure even the ones who watch us online feel it. I'm really very happy to be here. And what a great evening to see that uh, such great examples. I don't know, I I'm not maybe uh, newly graduated from university, but I felt the same excitement I had when I used to go in 1986 to those conferences called Women Economic Development of um, America. That was in New York, and there were women around 3,000 of them in the same room. We are talking about Marriott Marquis in Times Square. And I had the chance to listen to women like Anita Rodnik, who died, unfortunately, Body Shop, the creator, and Faith Popcorn, Ivana Trump, I remember she said, a woman is like a tea bag. You don't know how strong she is until you put her in hot water. <laughs> I never forget that. Let me tell you, and I've been in hot water many times, and I showed my color. <laughs> and I'm sure all those women here are the same. And it's really wonderful to hear such success stories. I don't know, I, I feel so, uh, it gives me a certain uh, excitement and I, I, I feel so empowered. And uh, one of the points I wanna make, which, is, which makes me very happy talking about old and new, I came back from the States in 1986 after I graduated from NYU for my, uh, from my master's in social studies, no big deal. Don't overestimate me. But, uh, and I had started my entrepreneurship there, but I don't wanna go into that, it's boring to me. I repeated it too many times. I just sold belts and I was successful and that's it. And when I say sisterhood, this is what I, that really symbolizes it for me. Uh, I was in a panel with Elif Shafak who wrote uh, Love and many other books, as you know. And uh, then she mentioned that in the book, uh, what I said in that panel, I think that uh, the thing that is missing much in Turkey, unfortunately, is the sisterhood. I don't think we have enough sisterhood. And, uh, but from 1986, now I see that this is here, just now, to be here is a big example of sisterhood. And it's a big change. Women should not fear other women. I always think and say there will be always, but always, a prettier looking, a richer, and one that has a better husband. <laughs> Believe me. So no need to be jealous of each other. No need whatsoever. Really there is no need because there will always be another one who will be richer, prettier for sure, and with a much better husband for sure. So that's why let's not lose this energy that we, uh, we have, not inside the fortress. We, let's, let's, let's have this energy to fight outside. That's why I believe in sisterhood. That's why I believe that we, we in business life, we have usually a mentor. We choose a mentor automatically or without knowing. It's either a family member or somebody in the company or a leader that we trust, that we believe in. But how about having a mentee? How many of us have really taken the time and the energy and the will to help other women? How many of us? It's, in, it's our duty. I believe that it is our responsibility to do it because that's a big way of empowering yourself. That's such a moral satisfaction, then it goes beyond many other satisfactions. And I find Turkish win very important, a very important network. Uh, that's why I joined, that's why I'm very happy to be here. And frankly, I have to confess, it was, when I was looking for such a platform, we were, I was getting, uh, 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 getting together some, uh, ladies, and I, I, we called it power lunch, but I, I didn't find it serious enough to tell you, to confess it here. And then I was looking for this platform where th th there are really more professional women who are at lower levels. We were talking about the CEO level at, at those luncheons, and there was nothing much we can give to each other, actually. I mean, it's, it's here that I can give and take. Therefore, I was, it was like a discovery to me, really, uh, 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 it was and it is. 
and I truly believe in it because it's a real platform. I'm a founding member of Kagidar, which is a women entrepreneurship association. But the bylaws say that we cannot take professional women. And I believe that professional women represent a much, a much bigger power today in Turkey. And they, 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 and they need the networking. They truly need the networking, especially for their own advancement and for their sisterhood and for their platform. Really, those women who will help other women in their companies to grow will grow automatically. I am a firm believer on it. And I also recommend you not to stay in companies that do not have leaders that that empower you, that let you grow, that let you have your own uh, uh, teams, that have your own uh, had a, whatever. I, I know I have, I'm seeing ladies here from UPS, and they have a very good, successful group there. So be in companies. I know multinationals are much more prone to do that, but why not Turkish companies? Uh, uh, they can also have those women empowering groups. You can invite guests. You can, you can do so much. Really, sky is the limit. I think sisterhood matters a lot in business. And uh, that's the new Turkey, that's the new woman who is sure of herself, who, want, who, is, who is willing to grow in business, who is not ashamed to be successful, who is not ashamed to make more money than her husband, if she has one, or if she kept the one, uh, or she didn't divorce the one. So, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good way of, uh, of, of uh, uh, empowerment. And I, I really believe that women have this problem of being, they, they are not well understood when they are so uh, uh, hands-on in business. They are accused of being aggressive sometimes. No, there's a big difference between, maybe a fine line between being assertive and aggressive. Being assertive is like a, it's like a fault. I'll never forget, maybe 25 years ago, Rahmetli Fuat Sunan told me, ay akşamlar, uh, aggressive Leila. Ben dedim ki, pardon Fuat Bey, I'm sorry, there is a fine line. I'm not aggressive, I am assertive. I'm just saying what I think. And uh, that's about it. There is a very fine line, but you know, they, they suppress us. When you tell your ideas openly or when you say what you are thinking, even though my father always says, you know, say always the truth, but not the whole truth. <laughs> and I always tell the whole truth, unfortunately. I cannot hold it to myself. That's the problem I have. Anyhow, so uh, I, I really believe in, in uh, being assertive. I really believe in helping women. I think that we are different creatures. We are so multitask. We are so, uh, we can do or think so many things, things at the same time. It's, it's scary. Sometimes I, I, I'm just trying to write what I thought and I had already forgotten what I thought. I mean, it's, it's scary sometimes because meanwhile I'm thinking about my 11 year old if he put on his jacket while he was going out in the, in the rain. You know, it's like, I'm still thinking about him, them right now, but doesn't matter. It's just that we have this amazing ability. It's an amazing ability. It, it's, we have to be aware of this, that this is not something to, 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 to underestimate. It really is. I mean, we have very special men among us. I'm very much aware of it, but uh, I'm sure they are the ones who recognize this, 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 this superiority we have. God created us like this, what can we do? Of course, it causes us a lot of problems because then we expect from ourselves to be super perfect. Perfect mom, perfect career woman, perfect looks, perfect skinny, you know, perfect bride, perfect daughter, perfect in everything. And it's such a big pressure, my God. It's such a big burden on our shoulders. That's why we have to prioritize. Since I'm prioritizing, I feel so much better. It's like having one credit card. It's a great feeling, you know? Let's shed it off. Also, in, in tasks and duties, I prioritize. You know, what is most important for me? 
even though I know I'm doing lots of unnecessary things, I still try to prioritize. I think that helps a lot. I can give you this as a, as a, as a tip maybe uh, of a woman who is only 31. And, uh, but it's really prioritizing. It's very important to prioritize. And uh, it, it helped me. It really did help me in, in business. And uh, what else helped me a lot that I would like to share with you is taking notes. Nobody takes notes. Can you imagine? Nobody takes notes. I, I don't, don't worry, I'm not offended at all that you're, none of you takes notes. I'm not saying anything that important. Anyhow, you can go back online and watch it. And, uh, but really taking notes, it's interesting. Uh, maybe I was brought up like this. I mean, uh, it's since I am uh, 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 in my early days, I used to ask something from my father. He would say, you know, write it and leave it on my attache case. That was it. He wouldn't even listen to it. He would just say, write it, leave it on my attache case, and it was done the next day. And it was, it was never forgotten, never forgotten. So to take notes is a big help. Uh, don't forget that I'm a pupil of Dr. Uzeir Gari. I started business life with him. I started uh, with him in Alarco, and that's my biggest, my biggest luck. Seriously, because uh, luck, of course, but also it put the, 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 the standards so high, so high that, you know, working is like, if you don't work more than like a dog, you're not working. It's like he would accomplish everything. He would finish the whole report already on the plane coming back from a meeting in Europe. He would write it on the plane. We would have it as he enters the office. We would have it on our on our uh, uh, desks. We are not talking about the computer day of, days, of course. Can you imagine the, the 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 speed, the speed he was doing business? I mean, this is uh, 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 so. This is the standard I'm used to. When uh, uh, there are standards that you get used to, that are that are. Uh, uh, so that's why the mentor is very important. That's why I started life with such a person that, uh, um, that sets my standards terribly high and I also expect from myself a lot, which is a big burden sometimes. I expect from myself a lot. And I also, I expect less from other people, but I had to learn it with time. Of course, when I came a mother, I, I started to cool it and to become softer and to understand that, you know, not everything has to be in zero time. Anyhow, so, so, so to have a good mentor like uh, Uzeir Bey, I was very lucky. And uh, I went all to, to all his meetings, to all his uh, uh, lectures. He would go at least to five or six invitations. It's not to be to be to have fun. Those invitations, he, he used to say, "I'm honoring those people. They give importance to me. They invite me. Why shouldn't I go and honor them? It's their one and only invitation." So when we are refusing people, we should think about it twice. When we don't just snob it, we don't go to that invitation or this. You have to think behind that. This person has put so much work in it to organize it, to prepare it, to invite, and it's such an amazing event for that person. All this I learned with him. Really, it's all, amount, it's all about human beings. It's all about communication. It's all about uh, 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 having empathy. It's all about that. Especially in business life, I see that People who can communicate, I have to confess, women are better communicators. Really, they are much better communicators. And uh, 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 it, it facilitates life. It really makes life much easier. And it's, uh, it's a great way of, 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 not, of not dragging things, of, of being in touch and being good communicators. But I would like to see women communicate more. We have no more excuse with Twitters, Facebooks, even though I'm not on Facebook nor on Twitter. What a shame on me, but I'm only 31. That's why, maybe. And uh, so I, 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 I think there is no excuse for not being communicative anymore. There is no more excuse. So for those who feel like uh, they should become, not they should, 
they would like to be an entrepreneur one day, or those who want to stay in, in the corporate world, which is perfectly fine if you ask me. It's, 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 it has its own challenges. It has its own advantages and disadvantages. But I just want to make sure that women do not feel that they have to have children. They have to get married. They have to do this. This is so passé. This is so old fashioned. Please, at least for the young generation, we should not think in those terms anymore. It's very old, it's very passé, it's very traditional, it's very boring. Uh, 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 I, I, I see Turkish women all around the world. I see Turkish women in the corporate world as the Turkish men are, işte bakınız muhtar kent, our big pride, why not a woman? We have one. In uh, Umran Beba, in Thailand, I think, or in the Philippines, whatever, in, in, in that area, Antuka. So it's, it's amazing. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a dream anymore. It's, it, it, is, it will be so common. Five years from now, it will be so common. You will have guests here coming, passing by Turkey during their visit uh, on a board meeting, and who will come and make such talks, inshallah. With those good wishes, I say thank you for listening.